Hello everyone, it's Ezekiel with ShoeSlide and I'm very excited because today I'm going to be answering one of the questions that I get the most here at ShoeSlide. That question has to do with these Long Branch Allen Edmund boots. Now these boots are a pair of boots that I received about a year ago from Allen Edmund and I have worn them. I've actually done a little bit of a torture test on these boots. I've worn these boots, I actually wore these boots with very little regard and I can tell you that I haven't polished them, I haven't cleaned them, I haven't conditioned the leather. And I did that because I wanted to test the durability of these boots. These boots, as you can see here, are a classic wingtip style boot with a derby lacing system and a rugged Vibram rubber outsole. Now, what I can tell you is that I wore these boots in all types of conditions. I wore them in downpours of rain. I wore them in several inches of snow. I wore them when it was negative temperatures out here where I live. And I also wore them in fairly dry, moderate uh, temperatures. And what I can tell you is that these boots surpassed all of my expectations. I'm very pleased with these boots. These boots held up extremely well considering the way that I treated them and how I wore them on consecutive days. Again, I wore them in very extreme conditions. What I can tell you is these boots met all of my expectations. I'm a big fan of these boots because they do have that wingtip style, which adds a little bit of formality to the boot. It's not uh, like your normal mock boot or work boot. Uh, the wingtip does allow one to wear these boots with a suit. If it's a more uh, rugged suit, so maybe a flannel suit uh, in the colder months. Uh, I did wear this boot to the office on several occasions. I wore it with some dark gray flannel suits that I own. The boots look great. I received many compliments on these boots. I also wore these with some denim. I wore them with some chinos. And these boots are just so versatile. These boots also also have a quick lacing system where you can hook the laces through the top three eyelets of the boot and that was super convenient. I could just throw the boots on, tie them and go. However, I always did remember to use a shoe slide wallet shoe horn when I was putting my foot into the boot uh, just so that I didn't cause any additional damage to the heel counter of the boot. Here at Shoe Slide we make premium wallet shoe horns that you can keep with you in your wallet, your pocket, your briefcase, keep on in your desk or in your locker so that you don't damage your shoes when you go to put them back on. Now back to the boots. Again, I wanted to torture test these boots because there's been so much talk about the quality of Allen Edmonds over the last several years. And what I can tell you is that for the price point, Allen Edmonds is still a great investment. Unfortunately, they no longer make these long branch boots, but they've been replaced with the Dalton boot. It's also a wingtip boot. You can also get a Vibram rubber outsole on that boot. And it looks very similar to this. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the tumbled leather, uh, but again, it looks almost identical to this boot. The Dalton boot from Allen Edmonds is something that I would recommend if you're looking for a boot similar to this. Now, I do want to point out something that happened here, and I want to point this out more as a heads up to you all. Uh, what happened here is that the rubber sole started to split away from the welt. When I first noticed this, I was extremely puzzled. I thought, what, had, what happened? Why is the sole coming apart? But then I thought back and I realized that I did wear these boots on several occasions when we were experiencing negative temperatures, extremely cold temperatures. And I wore these boots to the office on those days. And I do have a small space heater under my desk at my office. And what I believe happened is I believe that I got these boots too close to the heater, which caused the glue to melt and led to that separation of the bottom lug sole from the welt. Again, I take full blame for that. I should have been a little more cautious of that, but now I know for next time, if I am wearing rubber soled shoes or boots, definitely gonna keep them away from intense heat sources like that small space heater that I had at my office. But other than that, the boot held up extremely well. As you can see here, on this boot, there's no scuffing. And again, I did not have any regard for where I was walking, how I was treating these boots. I wanted to see how much abuse they could take and they really held up. There is a little bit of scuffing on the right boot, here, but that is very minimal. And I'm sure that uh, with a nice polish and nice leather conditioning, uh, those scuffs will come right out. Now, what I plan to do with these boots is I plan to send them back to Allen Edmonds to have them recrafted because again, I really enjoy the boot. I enjoy the look of it. I really like the wingtip and the broguing, just a little bit oversized broguing, which gives it a great visual appeal, makes it look extra rugged, but still classic in the wingtip style. So I'm going to send these back to Allen Edmonds, I'm going to have them recrafted. And I've been purchasing Allen Edmonds footwear now for about 13 years, and I've always been extremely happy with the level of their recrafts. So I plan to send these back at a new rubber sole because that rubber sole is great for traction. I didn't have any slips, I didn't have any near falls or 
didn't experience any issues getting around in the wet and cold icy conditions when I was wearing these. So with the Recraft, I'll get the new soles. They do a great job cleaning the upper and conditioning the leather. I'm very excited to get these back. I will keep you guys updated. I'll show you some, some pictures on social media of how these look after the Recraft. In the meantime, I look forward to more questions from you on classic menswear and classic shoes.